If I now add in the wind noise, and then finally we can turn on the engine. Yeah, there we go. I'm giving it a bit of gas and I can hear the engine now. And it's all about getting that blend yeah. in the right balance. It's like a little symphony. Listening on headphones alone isn't enough. The whole driving simulator is needed to understand how sound affects my driving, because the way I hear is affected by what I'm doing and what I can see at the time. The sound of the car reacts and changes with the way that you drive it, and the way that you drive is influenced by the sound of the vehicle. As car sounds have changed over time, has that actually affected our driving? Have we become worse drivers or better drivers? It has been an influencing factor. If you remove an awful lot of the wind noise and the tyre noise, people drive it a lot faster than they would normally drive a vehicle. And sometimes that's not desirable. No. So it really does have a, a, a psychological effect on us. It does, absolutely. Well, there we go. That sounds much more like a kind of sporty engine. The sound of me hurtling towards my midlife crisis. <laughs> OK, yeah. well, let's, so that's a sort of sporty car, Ferrari, that sort of thing. Should we go for a, a modern electric car? So this is now the sound of the future. Which to me sounds a little... It, it's so odd having no engine noise at all because I just feel you're disconnected from the whole experience. So I prefer to have a little bit of engine noise. I prefer to actually hear it and feel it. There is a case for manufacturers adding artificial engine sound to make people feel comfortable with, with the vehicle that they're yeah. driving. Drivers aren't the only ones who benefit from a decent sounding car. Recent statistics suggest that at low speeds, pedestrians and cyclists are twice as likely to be hit by a hybrid electric vehicle than a normal car, simply because they're so quiet. So the researchers at Warwick have been testing how electric cars could sound to help pedestrians hear them coming. I couldn't resist this. So the guys at Warwick University have come up with this. This is Elvin, and the clever thing is you can actually program a different noise that it will emit as it drives along. So you can basically choose whatever you want. So, for example, you could make it sound like, I don't know, a 1950s flying saucer. I managed to not kill anyone, luckily enough. I got some fairly strange looks. But actually, you think about it, it's not a bad idea. I mean, obviously, we have all this emotional attachments with different sounds, but can you imagine in the future we'll be able to choose what sounds we have for our own cars? Maybe you'll be able to, I don't know, download them a bit like a ringtone. Good idea, or could be absolutely hideous. <laughs>